Hey guys, what's up? It's IG on the Disposable Gorilla channel. This is going to be a bit of a ramble. I've got a couple of things that I'd like to just get off my chest and ramble a bit, a bit about. First off, I've noticed that there's been quite a bit of infighting amongst Christians here on YouTube. Which, I mean, is really nothing new. I mean, it's it just, it is what it is, and, and I know what it is. It's um, arrogance. Um, yeah, it's arrogance. Um, the whole Armenian, Armenian and uh, um, Calvinism debate is futile, and everyone should just shut up. And this is why. I believe that the Holy Spirit works um, on an individual basis. That a doctrine that appeals to certain people, there's purpose behind it. It doesn't make one person wrong or another another person right. It's specifically designed and tailored for that person. If a person is born again and shows signs of being born again, who are we to question how the Holy Spirit interprets God's word to that person? We need to come together on important things like Christ, like being kind to each other, asking forgiveness, um, being good, just being good people, being, you know, good Christians. That, that's something that we should really be focusing on instead of pointing a finger at each other because it makes us look stupid. So knock it off, please. I know you mean well, okay? I get it. But stop, because this infighting serves no other purpose than your own vanity. Seriously, if someone has an Arminian point of view, fine. If someone, someone else has a Calvinistic point of view or a Catholic point of view, fine. I believe there's purpose in it. And if you don't, that's fine. I don't want to argue with you about it. As a matter of fact, I refuse to argue with you about it. I recommend you look into the different doctrines so you can understand them. And I'm sure that the one that resonates for you is the one that the Holy Spirit wants you to look into. And that's it. Let it go. We're not here to point the finger at each other in regards to doctrine. I think Paul made that pretty clear. Anyhow, moving on from that. I've also noticed that there's in the works a pre-trial of some sort. Now, with all due respect, gentlemen... What the hell are you doing? Now, if you're looking to entertain people, and if you're looking to get people's attention and start a buzz around what you're doing, well, you've succeeded, and good job. But if you actually think that what you're doing is somehow in service to Christ or God, again... I'd ask you to consider checking yourself before you wreck yourself in regards to vanity. Because that's what I see. I see a lot of posturing. The idea that you have the right to prejudge is blasphemous. I mean, it's completely and utterly blasphemous. Now, if your objective is to get these people into a situation where maybe you can teach them about the nature of Christ and what Christianity is to you, that's one thing. If you want to give testimony, that's one thing. But we are commanded to show love and respect 
to everybody. And this idea that you can bully someone into apologizing is just stupid. And, I mean, it makes for great drama, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the plethora of videos that are made about you. Because they're going to be funny. Because you're setting them up. You're underhand pitching these softballs to these people. And, you know, I might even have to uh, make a video or two about it because it doesn't jive with scripture. It really doesn't. And I would ask you to really consider what you're doing before you do it. Now, the other topic that I want to talk about is this idea of salvation. And I want to tell you what my, what, how I see salvation. I, I see salvation as a, a changing in a person, um, almost a 180 in, in one's behavior. Which is why, after a lot of thought, I've come to the realization that I need to ask a number of people forgiveness because I think that I have wronged them. Now, it wasn't intentional. I want to make that clear that none of these uh, people that I'm going to ask forgiveness of um, did I intentionally wrong. I may have wronged them out of stubbornness, out of lack of information, um, and maybe even because of my own vanity. But I think it's important for us to all realize and understand what salvation is. And for me, it's repenting from sin. Now, there is no such thing as being sinless. We can't do that. We're going to continue to sin. But the sign of someone who is saved, in my opinion, is someone who strives not to sin, but when they do, they ask forgiveness. And especially asking those that they've sinned against. Humbling yourself enough to ask someone to forgive you. So I have a list of people that I'd like to ask forgiveness of because... I may have wronged them, or I have wronged them. Some of these people may feel that I have wronged them um, because of various reasons, and, and that's fine. I don't think the reasons are important. First off, I'd like to ask Alex Botten for forgiveness. Now, I took one of my videos down, not because I didn't, resonate with the message or the point that I was making but because there was some confusion as to the point I was making and I think it got lost in translation but it, regardless of that Alex would you please forgive me for accusing you of dock dropping I would I would appreciate um, your forgiveness same with Mark. Mark, would you forgive me for accusing you of stalking or, or whatever it was and um, not um, speaking out against Brett Keane and Richard Raspberry when I should have? Brother, would you please forgive me for not doing that? Because I said that I would. And I did say something to them in private, but I said that I would say something um, publicly. So I, I'm doing that now, and I'm asking you for your forgiveness. Now, who else? Oh, I need to publicly uh, apologize and ask um, Iron Cross for forgiveness. A while back, I said some things about him in regards to uh, the Almighty Wind uh, people. Um that turned out to not be true. So Ron, I know I've already asked you in private for forgiveness on that, but I'm going to ask you publicly to forgive me for that. 
and who else? Oh, Ran. Ran, would you please forgive me for the videos that I made mocking you in the past? The, it was wrong of me as a Christian to make those videos. And I should have come to you in private. And I, I, I feel badly about it. And, um, brother, would you, would you please forgive me for those videos? Those videos are all gone, by the way. I, I've taken them all down. And uh, I will go through tonight and make sure that I've taken anything else down that um, is inappropriate or along those lines. And I'd also like to ask Glute for forgiveness. I've been mean. I've been harsh. I've uh, name-called him. I've been inappropriate. Um, a lot of the issues that we've had, I think a lot of the issues that we had have been kind of a communication issue, but um, that's my fault. And maybe I shouldn't have brought up your girlfriend in any instance for any reason. Would you please forgive me for that? Because that was wrong. And, I, and I'm sorry, and I'm hoping you can forgive me for that. And if there's anybody else out there that feels as though I've wronged them, let me know. I'll make a video, and I'll, I'll ask you for your forgiveness. But here's the catch. I have to actually feel as though I've done something wrong because then it's it's not a true apology. It's not it's not repentance. It's you know it, I, it's not of the Holy Spirit. It's not something I'm compelled to do. So if anyone out there feels as though I've wronged them or I've sinned against them, um, and I've forgotten it, please remind me so that I can go ahead. And I can publicly ask for your forgiveness. Because this is what I think is important about salvation. Is the ability to humble yourself, admit when you've done something wrong, and ask forgiveness. No matter who it is. So those of you believers out there that agree with what I'm saying, I would encourage you to make a video like this one. And let's show the community how humble we can be. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.